we're going to use Google Sheets to uh, graph our data from our uh, motion uh, experiment. So select the data you want to graph, go to the insert menu at the top, and scroll down to chart. Uh, the titles at the top should be selected because see how they nicely appear on the axes. Time on the x-axis and of course the distance where it should be on the y-axis. Resize and move as uh, desired. Okay, double click on that graph and see all the menus to the right. Select Series. Should be under Customization. Scroll down. You want Trend Line. Yes, there it is. Should be linear. Should be a straight line. Sure hope it is. And under Label, use Equation. Note how let's put a little equation up there. And right in front of the X is your slope value. You want that slope value right there. Uh, R squared, that's optional. The closer that value is to 1, the straighter the line the data is. And that's a good thing. But how about for our accelerated motion? Here we should get a curve graph. So once again, select your data. Make sure the column headers are there, time and distance. In the menu, insert, insert chart. And there's our chart appearing. So reposition it. Resize it as desired. And once again, double click on it, or maybe it's already open. Hit customization, top right, series, open the series menu, and then scroll down once again to trend line. But this should be a curve, not linear. So we'll curve, and it should be a polynomial to degree two. That's how our accelerated motion will be. So we'll select that. That's what we want. We don't need a slope for this line because it's not a constant of slope. So we're not looking for the slope for this thing. That's all we need with that. Now you have your two graphs. You can change the coloring and stuff like that and customize the sum if you want. But then you need to download each one. PNG would be great. If you download that, then you can attach that to your Google Form. So download both of them and you're in business.